What you see here is something I picked up at SHOT Show last January and I haven't been able to use yet because I didn't have something small enough to fit it. This is the ABDO brought in by European American Arms. Uh, looks somewhat like a phablet or uh, one of those phone cases. Clips onto your belt or you can strap it to something else. It's lockable using this key here but the main idea of this is it serves as a spring-loaded holster. Now you can just grab the gun. So, idea being here, of course, to uh, be able to carry your gun somewhat more comfortably on the outside of your belt uh, rather than tuck it, tuck it in. Or, at the very least, let's say uh, outside the waistband with a coat and you're worried about the end of your conventional holster uh, showing when your shirt lifts or whatnot, something like this is a lot less alarming. It doesn't look gun-like at all. Does it look 100% like a real phone? No, not quite. But it doesn't look as gun-ish. Gun the mounting of that pin inside for the barrel can be adjusted to either side. But I kind of like that idea. I'm not sure if I'd run with it. But it is different and a bit unique. I haven't seen anyone use these, but you also don't see much information out there about them. This, by the way, is the fitment guide for this particular model. You can pause it if you want to be able to read it. And the original LCP fits just fine, so long as you have the flush magazine. Since we happen to have one here, the LCP-2 with the flush magazine doesn't quite fit. Reason being that the sights are a little bit larger and they fall into the track there of where it needs to be. So, LCP-2, not going to work for you, but the classic LCP that existed when the Abdu was designed obviously closes quite well. Um, I like the idea that uh, someone can have this on. Let's say you've got children you're worried about uh, them playing with your gun when you get home or playing with the, the fake foam looking thing. You can lock it, you keep this key somewhere, and sit on the table and your toddler can play with this all they want. They're probably not going to get into it. Um, it's a very tough, um, like fiberglass impregnated type polymer. Uh, seems quite strong. There is another version of this that I've been waiting for them to release that has a lot of interesting features. It's electronic. Uh, I won't go into the details on that because the details I know are almost a year old at this point and the final production version might be a bit different. So what are your thoughts on this? Is this something useful? Is this something you would use? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks, like, and subscribe.